This video will show you different options available in CADAM 3D. I'll open a, a model here. Uh, going back to file, many options are available. You can use a calculator. This would be the calculator of Windows that will appear. You can export the image that you see here into a bitmap. You can export uh, your model as uh, a 3D geometry which is, would be a STL file. So it can be uh, generated as a text file or a binary file. Simply select the solid that you have here. Since we have only one solid, it's the gravity section. You can make the z-axis as a vertical. In this case, in our model, it is the y-axis. So I'm gonna flip this system to have the z-axis as a vertical and then I click OK. And then I'll save this file as gravity down. STL. And then if I go into uh, Explorer and find that file, I'm going to show you that STL file. So going to D, I have gravity dam.stl that I'm looking for. Here it is. I'm going to right click and do a 3D print so I can have a, a, a real fa fast view of it. Okay, here it is. I'm going to move it like this. So as you can see here, it's on the, the right. Sorry about the quality here and the size of the window. I'm gonna move this on the left so, so you can have a better view. So I can flip this over so I can we can see that we have a 3D model of our section. So this can be imported any, into any file entertainment model that is accepting solids. So you can import it into Abacus, uh, SAP 2000, uh, SolidWorks, uh, Adina, uh, all these uh, softwares that in, can handle 3D geometries. Um, there's a script editor as well into CADAM 3D. So if you want to uh, do a lot of um, analysis, but by um, script, you can do that here. So you can pretty much set up your script. This is uh, presented into the user's manual. And once you have done your script, you can start a script. You, you must close everything before doing this. So start a script. So you can open a script and then it will execute the script. So this script can be uh, composed of uh, many things. So we can open a file, uh, change uh, values of the reservoir, do the analysis, extract some uh, key results for you and send it to a file and then proceed with another value and then proceed to another analysis and so on. So you can put as many lines as you like. And when you start your script, it will automatically run CADAM 3D with this. Uh, validation, this is not uh, something that is available to all users. In fact, it's only available to some people uh, pretty much. This is where we have around um, 540 models that are already defined into the database. And we every time we do change major changes into the software, we have to go to the validation process. So we rerun those 540 models, make sure that the uh, computing uh, the exact uh, same uh, results that they, they used to. If it is not, then we have to make sure that is the new result a good one or is, was the last result a good one? And we have to save or to, we have to solve the problem if we find any. So these techniques for validation is, uh, uh, is giving a lot of robustness to the software. If you want to switch languages in between the French and the English, you can do it here. Uh, I'll go directly to help here. So there's a help file available, but for now it's only available in French. 
since Hydro Quebec is a French speaking company and and Cadam 3D was developed for Hydro Quebec. So we are now in a translation uh, procedure of this user manual and the uh, file. So the user manual as well is available to this uh, button here. So it will appear as a PDF file. Okay, I'm going to close this. Yes. Okay, I'm get rid of this. And if you want to know the version that you are using right now, you just click about and it will going to give you the, the number of the version and the date it was compiled. Want to send an email to me, just click here. It will open your uh, default email software. Uh, you want to consult our website. You can just simply click here. Uh, version information. So every time we have a new version that is uh, that is generated, you have access to all the correction, novelty, uh, whatever that was done uh, into the software from one version to another since uh, version 2.1.2. So. Uh, Calam 3D is a, a multi-document interface, so you can open a lot of files at the same time. You can switch units from Imperial to Metric on the fly. Uh, if I open another model, then I have two open model, so I can go to Tile, so you can see both models and just switch from one to another, like this, and the model, the menu will readjust according to your model that you have selected. That's it.